starting off a new weekly vlog. You trying to get my coffee? I am so happy that you guys are here today. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm starting a new weekly vlog. It's Monday today. If you guys are new here, my dog is trying to destroy my new little crew neck I just got. Hey, no, no. I just got a workout in. I did a great strength workout this morning. I think it's about to rain, so I wanted to film this clip before it got really gloomy. It's a fun week because we're actually doing some prep to visit Aiden's family in Rhode Island. So just having a pretty busy week, a pretty busy productive week, which are some of my favorite vlogs to watch. So I just finished working out. Now I'm about to hop in the shower, but before that, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to CVS for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually sipping their gold emblem coffee in my tumbler today. We actually actually ran out of iced coffee, which we really like. And so I was actually so happy because I just made this hot coffee yesterday and I just stuck it in the fridge and I am having it cold this morning. I don't take any pre-workout. I usually just have some coffee before I work out and then I end up finishing it after. I got these little tumblers too that I think are really nice. I think they're technically wine tumblers, but I'm using them for coffee. This is the Gold Emblem Fair Trade Certified Coffee. It is so good. They have a ton of different flavors and I just use the ground coffee because I just have a French press and that's how I prefer to make my hot coffee. So they have Colombian, French vanilla, French roast, and donut shop. And I am drinking the donut shop. I'm such a big donut shop coffee fan. I just think it tastes really warm and cozy and nostalgic. So I always like making this one. And because they're fair trade certified, you know that they are empowering farmers and also helping protect the environment. And what's really cool is when you actually buy this coffee, some of the proceeds are actually going towards helping educate on different sustainable coffee production techniques, healthcare services, and also different scholarship programs, which is great that you can just buy coffee and know you're doing something really great for other people too. Obviously there's so many CVS locations, so I love how convenient it is. We're always running to CVS to grab prescriptions or just other toiletry items, other random things. And so it's nice that you can also just pick up your coffee too. And if you're someone who likes to buy in bulk, they also have larger quantities too, so you can stock up if that is more of your preference. I will have CVS linked down below as well as their Gold Emblem Coffee if you guys wanna check them out. But of course you can also just shop them at your local CVS, which I think is really great and convenient. I'm gonna go take a shower and start getting ready for the day though. Y'all, this lighting is so funky and it's because I just cannot stand the weather lately. It rains all the time, which is nice because it makes everything so green and beautiful, but it's not nice because it makes me so dreary being inside all day. I just showered and I'm just letting my hair air dry. I woke up with my face having a really bad reaction to a topical treatment I was using. My dermatologist gave me some creams and my skin was not a fan. I also have a friend here. He's so hyper because we usually go for a walk right now and he plays, but there is no way that's happening. And whoever gave him the sheep in the PO box, he's obsessed. It's his new favorite, except it's bloody, which is gross because he's losing teeth. I need to film something and add something to a video that I'm doing for a brand. I need to do a thumbnail for that brand. I need to plan out two sit down videos. I already know what one of them is going to be, but I need to do another one. I need to email my management about some payments, plan out a podcast and then promote a podcast and ask for, I already did that. I had to promote my podcast and ask for life advice submissions for some other content. So I already did that. That's today's to-do list. I also am recording a podcast later today with a guest. Yeah, today's kind of just a cozy work day. I don't have too much planned. I'm pretty busy with work because we are going on vacation next week 
And I honestly just really want to fully enjoy vacation. I feel like every time I go on vacation, I'm also editing videos and working on videos and working on content. And I just want everything to be done at least for that week for the most part. So then I can just share on my Instagram. I'm gonna be sharing a lot on Instagram if you guys wanna follow me there. And so that'll be there. And yeah, I just wanna be able to really enjoy it, fully relax, have a really good time. He is super bored because it's been raining all day. We're probably gonna take him for a nice long walk once the rain stops when Aiden gets back, but he has just been looking over at me all day. You sit. Speak. Good boy. He's so good. Look at that boy. Look at him. He's so good. Oh, he's a big boy. Very big. Look at him. Give him a kiss. I just sat down to eat some lunch and I follow this girl on Instagram who I love who I wanted to share. Her page is called The College Nutritionist, I believe. She's really cute, but I like her page because she shares really easy lunch ideas because I really struggle with lunch. I never know what to eat for lunch. You cut up a bell pepper, you put a turkey slice and some cheese on top and you bake it. So good, so easy. She does do a lot of lower carb things, which I like for lunch. I don't like having a ton of carbs for breakfast and lunch just because it gives me brain fog when I'm trying to work and then at night, I prefer to have more carbs. I don't know if that's like right. That just works for me. And she does do weight loss stuff. So if that's not your thing, but I'm not trying to lose weight. I just like her recipes. I think they're super good. I'm actually getting ready right now to record a podcast and I'm setting up my studio in our closet. I would love one day to have an actual like podcast room. But for now, this is it. And I'm actually gonna record it like on video. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a decent setup. I'm recording with Christy Wright, who is under the Dave Ramsey network. And she talks a lot about life balance and career stuff for women. She's really cool. So I'm recording it at 4.30. So just getting ready. If you are a stay-at-home mom, a career woman, an Olympian, an empty nester, it's a pain point for all of us. So how can we talk about the underlying issues that make us feel like something is off? First, I thought you were gonna say, no, six is too early. I'll be rushing out the door <laughs> too early. No, nope, you said 5 a.m. I just finished recording with Christy, which was so nice. She was so sweet. And I'm really excited for that episode to go up. I think it goes up in July, but it's actually 6.30 and I'm still working on some stuff. I normally don't work this late, but like I said, I really just wanna be able to take off. So I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done today. Aiden was also working later, so I just figured I might as well keep working too. And then we're gonna take cash for a walk and might honestly pick up food because I didn't have any dinner plans tonight. Ew. Or get topped off tonight. <laughs> So I'm still working on getting Cash used to getting his paws clipped and I've gotten a lot of questions about training. So I just figured I'd show this. I really want him to associate this with positive things. So something I try to do is just allow him to sniff it. Good boy, oh good boy, good boy. And feed him treats when he has like a positive interaction with it. And then something that I started doing was just clipping one nail at a time and then rewarding him when he does really well. Good boy. Good boy. He's still getting used to it. He still doesn't absolutely love it, but he is kind of warming up to the idea of it. He tolerates it, but he doesn't like absolutely love it by any means. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Look, they're in the sand. Sit. Shake. 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 Good boy, good boy, good boy. I've been trying to fill the void, but my bed is getting cold. Cause I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore. You said you had to go away, just to figure out who you are. And I'm in this empty house, with your pictures on my wall. But I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore. Hi guys, it is Tuesday today. It is actually two o'clock. I just got lunch with my mom because my mom was over in the Dallas area. So we just grabbed lunch. We went to this place called Whiskey Cake. It was cute, I would say. I would give it like a seven out of 10. I thought it was okay. 
it's just nice to see her. I think I always get to see my mom whenever I go see my family, but we never really get one-on-one -on -one time, so it was nice just to get to chat with her. I'm about to head home. I might actually stop by the grocery store on the way home and grab some stuff to make dinner tonight first. I also recorded a video this morning, it took cash for a long walk, but I just haven't been vlogging as much today. So I wanted to say hey. I'm wearing my favorite blanket cardigan from Urban Outfitters. I got this forever ago. It's actually a little too hot for this because I always get cold in restaurants, so I wear stuff like that. Then I get in the car and it's so steamy. I'm literally making salmon right now. I'm making us an early dinner because we're actually going to church tonight. It's called the porch. It's like a young adults ministry. We thought it'd be fun to go tonight. We've been missing just having like some good old worship. And so we thought that'd be nice to go tonight. So I'm making us an early dinner. This is like a super easy salmon recipe. And I also just whipped up a salad. I might also make Aiden some rice. I'm literally wearing his hoodie because I'm so cold today for some reason. I don't know why I'm freezing inside, but I'm just not feeling super hungry. So I'm just going to have this for dinner. He's getting a workout in right now. My hair looks so funky right now, but good morning guys. I just woke up. It is Wednesday. It's 8 a.m. right now. I'm about to take Aiden to work. He's getting shower in because we share a car, like I say all the time. So I'm gonna drop him off and something that I got that I'm so stoked about. These are technically to go like wine tumblers, but I'm using them for iced coffee and they're so nice for when you're in the car. They're like the perfect size. So I'm dropping him off and then I have some filming to do. I'm probably not gonna work out this morning. I've been pretty lax on workouts because like I said, just trying to get a lot done. I might try to work out tonight after I get everything done, but I just feel like if I work out, I'm gonna get stressed because I also need to walk him. I probably should have gotten up earlier, but we were in our dog park last night talking to someone for probably an hour last night, which is really fun. And I love doing that. So we just got to bed a bit later, but yeah, I'm gonna do some filming and then I'm recording a podcast with my dad today, which is gonna be fun, but we're actually doing it at his work because they have like radio stations in there. We're gonna use their equipment. So it should sound pretty great. So that'll be fun to see him. And then I need to go get Aiden. And then tonight I'm really excited because we're actually eating at this restaurant that I made a reservation for forever ago. It's called The Monarch. It looks really pretty. It's a really nice restaurant that I forgot I honestly made the reservation a month ago <laughs> and that's tonight so we find to get dressed up and have a cute date night too that was like you know I'd, I'd hit the lottery and then our next door neighbor actually had a barn and they had a basketball goal in the barn so if it I guess 9-11, but I was so young that I don't actually remember it. Have you ever been really unhappy and how did you get through that time in your life? I don't think I know of a time you felt really unhappy. There were times with jobs. You better come up. You better come up. Oh, don't bite me. So it is a whole lot later now. I went and did my podcast with my dad. I picked up Aiden after. I just stayed there and worked on some stuff at my dad's office until I had to get him. And then we took cash on a walk, went to the park. So it's been a bit, I feel like I've just been a flop at vlogging because it's just been a pretty busy week so far, but I'm so excited for tonight. So I'm about to start getting ready. We're going to this restaurant and Doing stuff like this just always reminds me of being in New York. When we dated, we just would always try out like fun new restaurants and like stay out late and do that kind of stuff. And so this definitely feels like that, especially because I forgot I made it. I just saw the reservation pop up and I was like, I'm gonna take it because I knew this place is usually booked out like at least a few weeks in advance. He is obsessed with this lamb toy <laughs> that someone sent in the PO box. He's obsessed with it and he just always likes to squeak it. See, so yeah, I'm about to start getting ready. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I have my Zara dress I got, but I wanted to save that for my birthday. So I'm gonna see if there's something I haven't worn in a while because it's definitely a little bit fancier. I'll probably wear a dress and like some short heels. I just finished getting ready. I feel like I never get dressed up. So it's always weird when I do, but I was gonna save this dress for my birthday because I think it's really pretty. It's from Zara. It's just like this silky. I'll show it in the other mirror too. because like, I feel like you can't really see all of it here, but it's just this green silky material. I think it's really beautiful. My shoes are from Naturalizer. They're so comfy though. They're just these little sandals. The water to wash away the pain. The devil spread on my name. Hello, friends. It is 
Thursday. I have not vlogged basically at all today. I've been filming clips, but not actually talking to the camera. So I have had just another work day, another day of editing. I was editing some podcasts and finishing up those and scheduling them. Now I'm really excited because I'm actually getting my nails done. For our trips coming up, I thought it'd be nice to get my nails done. So I'm at my favorite nail place, which is Rose Couture Nail Bar in Dallas. It's so cute. It's a little pricey, but they do a really great job. Nothing on right now, short nails. I'm gonna get acrylics, probably an almond shape. And I usually do gel. I'm just gonna get like a natural color. So that's what I'm getting. I'll show you guys when I get out. I love this place. It's the best. They do such a good job and they last for so long. And so I thought it'd be fun to get some nails. It's also such a beautiful day. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I love summer in Texas when it's just hot the dry heat like the rain has stopped for the most part so far and so it just feels so nice it's so sunny i love summer in texas it's the best here is my before here are my nails they're extremely natural let me know if you guys like natural nails or something really fun and different i usually go natural because these are acrylics i just want them to grow out and look a little bit decently natural but i think she did such a good job i love rose nail couture bar if you need a nail place they do such a great job i saw vivian but i always have someone different and everyone's been good so far where's your daddy where's your daddy cash yeah my sweetheart We just finished a workout and I took Cash for a walk and then he also got to go to the park and play with some dogs. So he is just in a very good mood, chilling out right now. It's Friday. It's actually like almost four o'clock and I've just had a normal work day today. I had to do a podcast. I sent in a video for approval and worked on that. And then I also just went and laid out for a little bit because it's really nice out. So we're leaving tomorrow. So we need to pack tonight. I wanna clean up the house and I'm about to sit down and write out Cash's doc because cash is staying with my family while we go which he loves because he's gonna have a yard and he loves going over there he loves hanging out with roxy so he's gonna have the time of his life but i am really gonna miss him because obviously you guys know i love him so much he is my pride and joy and so i'm gonna write out a little doc we've left him once before for a weekend but my sister jamie was watching him and he was a lot younger so it was kind of a lot more but now it's just pretty much like feeding him, exercise, how he goes to sleep at night, just kind of like that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna write that out. And then Aiden's probably gonna head home soon. We're gonna go for a nice long walk. It feels like summer outside. It is sunny. I was in the dog park today with everyone. It was just such a good vibe. We love walking the Katy Trail in Dallas and it's so fun. So we're gonna go there, put our names in at the Katy Trail Ice House, do a long walk since it's probably gonna be a long wait and then grab some dinner, which will be fun to go there. I feel like we've eaten out a lot this week and it's just because I didn't wanna buy groceries because we were going out of town and so I just didn't want to have that much stuff. It's feeling like the weekend though. I'm so excited. It felt so good to get some vitamin D. I love laying out. I did put on sunscreen, but I still got a little bit burnt. Let's do a little prep. I also want to run the vacuum. Someone's going to be staying here. So I just want to make sure the place is clean and yeah. Try not to overpack because I know we are going to have a washer and dryer, but uh, I'm bringing these two books to read because I'm hoping to read a lot on this trip. The first one is The Power of a Praying Wife. I saw my friend Cayenne actually share this book and it's really popular and I thought it'd be just a good book to bring along. And then my sister Jamie said that this book was a really good kind of like thriller and those are my favorite books. So I've been saving this one to read on the trip. So I'm gonna bring those two. It's like in the seventies, I believe. So I'm bringing just a few dresses and then I have a sweater and a jacket, some tops, a lot of workout stuff because we tend to do a lot of just like active stuff. Um, a beach cover up, we got some jeans, leggings, my swimsuit that I've been so excited to wear. This is the one that I showed in that one video. I have been literally so excited to wear this. So I got that, I'm bringing my one piece and then also another swimsuit that is out drying. Viewing what I want. 